are now in 2017 and I've seen a lot of these year in reviews and I really like watching them videos so I thought for me I would do uh, a year in review of 2016. 2016 was the best year I think I've ever had um, for personal reasons, for work reasons, for my relationship reasons. I've just had the absolute shittest first years into adulthood and being a teenager. Something terrible at least happened once a year and this year, this past year I have actually had not one bad thing happen and I'm so grateful for what I have had to experience this last year because I've done a lot more than I have for the recent years and I'm going to talk you through them and I've got some collage pieces to show you as well of what I'm talking about some of my older videos and some of our experiences that I've had so first up I started 2016 in this very hotel I am back at the same hotel because it is Anthony's work do tonight and this time last year, it was on the 9th last year, I, which is in two days, we was in a hotel room in this hotel and I did a get ready with me for the party look that I was going to have and I love that video, it's probably one of my favourite from 2016 that and my YouTube trailer which you should definitely go see because I'm so proud of that. In January I also have my birthday and I turned 19. Yes I did. I'm 20 about a week or two. Um, and to be honest I don't remember what I did but I had a birthday in the beginning of the year. And then February came. February is not only Valentine's Day not, not only my mum's birthday, birthday, but to my and Anthony's anniversary when we got together. So we celebrated our three year anniversary and we went to escape this. This, this is something different for us because we're not very adventurous. And uh, we played uh, mini golf basically all day. It was great. And then March came. The end of March, beginning of April, we went to Benidorm in Spain. I haven't been abroad in six years I think I worked out as and I had the best time I was so proud of myself I flew to Spain for the first time in six years and I wasn't sick didn't cry well I had a few tears to take off but that was it <laughs> but I was just so proud of myself for even getting there and then we went with um, some of Anthony's family members there was like three different groups there was me and Anthony there was Anthony's sister her boyfriend of Anthony's family friends and we just had the best time we loved it we did things together like we went to somewhere called Mundo Mar which is animals basically you get to see animals there was dolphins there was seals there was turtles randomly there were flamingos and that was a really good day because that was something we all did together actually that was one of the only things we did together I think the other thing we did together was we had a day at the beach and then other days we just kind of did our own thing. Um, the others relaxed around the pool a lot more than me and Anthony did because I just wanted to go out and explore basically. We went to the hotel that I had been to uh, eight years ago, I think it must have been. And Anthony stayed at that hotel as well before with his family when he was younger. So we both knew the hotel, we both knew the area, so we knew kind of what we wanted to do and how far things away were. Bloody loved it for makeup buying. They have a shop called Perfuma, Perfuma, something like that, and basically they have high end makeup at a discounted price. Brilliant, I bought so much because <laughs> I was there. I used up all of my euros. Um, two days before we left, so for the last two days I was like skimming Benidorm. And then obviously after that such big expense, we didn't do anything all summer until August. We had a bit of a boring summer actually, but Anthony works and I work in a school, so I have six weeks off. So during the six weeks holiday, we went to Liverpool. I've been to Liverpool once before with school when I was year six. So how many years ago was that? 
about eight years ago. Um, and we just had the best time. We went for no reason. We went for two nights. We stayed at a Premier Inn on the Albert Docks and it didn't feel like a Premier Inn because we was on the Albert Docks so they have a lot of um, brick walls and things. We basically, we ate, we drank, we shopped. Or we ate, I drank, I shopped. <laughs> That's pretty much how it went. I they didn't do much shopping. We literally shopped the whole weekend. I did some sightseeing. We went to the pier. On, it's not a pier, is it? Library building. We went to the library building on their like um, dock area. Obviously, the Albert Docks is a huge thing to go see in Liverpool because that is where the Beatles story is. We had a really expensive meal. We went to somewhere called Gusos, which is set in Italian which we are going back to Liverpool in two weekends away for my birthday again and we are off to Gusto's and it was so expensive last time okay. whilst we was in Liverpool we went to we wanted to do one like museum -y thing and we went to the World Museum in Liverpool and it's terrible I mean it's alright because it's free to get in that's why we decided to go but while she was in there it was quite small and we got around it really quickly um, but museums, you have to kind of stand around and read, and me and Anthony don't really like that kind of thing. We just like visual things. We both like to just look at pretty things. So the aquarium was probably our best bit for both of us at that whole museum. And then, still, I went back to work. We concentrated on work for a while. Um, and at the end of November, How? What is going on? Got a summer party or something kind of stuff. Anyway, <laughs> what I was trying to say is at the end of November, my little younger, well it's not little at all, my younger brother came home. Um, if you don't know the story, my brother lives in Australia with my dad. He has done for three years and it's been three years since I last saw him. So he came home for Christmas for a month. And we've had the best month. We, it feels so unreal now to even think that he was here. He left um, right before New Year's. So I've had a pretty shitty New Year's to be honest, start of 2017. But I'm reviewing what I did whilst he was here. So we did a lot of things. The main thing we did was we went to London which is actually my first time in London. London is the capital of my own country and I've never been. I loved it. I've wanted to go for ages, Anthony would never take me, and but just bloody loved it. So we took the train there, and I've never taken a train that takes longer than like an hour. So I, I quite like train journeys. We, because it was me, my mum, my sister, and my brother, we had a um, table seat, so it was really good. And was all together. So we did things like visiting Trafalgar Square, we went to Leicester Square, we literally did all the touristy things because I've never been before. Um, we also went to see Big Ben, we saw, we went to see a, um, a theatre performance in the West End, we went to see Wicked, I absolutely loved it, I, I've done Panto and that before but that is literally it. Wicked is so amazing. I didn't get into it at first. It took a while to get into it, but then I absolutely loved it. The performing, the singing, it's just brilliant. Go see it if you can. We went to the Natural Museum, National History Museum. Love that. I've seen that in loads of films, like Night in the Museum, obviously. And um, there was a big moving dinosaur, and basically I went around just pushing every button that you can. That's basically all I do in museums, like, ooh, buttons, let's see what it does. Yeah. There were some pretty diamonds in there, that was pretty much the only thing I enjoyed was the pretty diamonds that sparkled when I filmed them. That was nice. We went to Harrods and saw the memorial for Princess Diana, which is really nice. It's really nice in Harrods. Obviously, first time I've been, we did Oxford Street and saw Selfridges and all that stuff. We also went to Winter Wonderland. You can't go at Christmas and not go to Winter Wonderland in Hyde Park. It is so much smaller than I thought. 
I don't feel bad saying it, but I feel like the stalls are all the same at these Christmas markets anyway. So if you go to one, you've been to them all. Um, and yeah, that was alright. We went like just as it was getting dark, so it was really nice to see from day to come to night. We went and had cider as well in one of their bars. That was life. I did the tram for the first, not the tram, I did the underground for the first time. It scared me shitless. I'm not even joking. It gave me, f uh, for probably like the tw first 24 hours we was on the tram, uh, why do I keep saying tram? Underground. I got really, really bad travel sickness and I never get travel sickness, not even for, like, for flying. We obviously went to see the Queen. She wasn't home, which was a rude, but we went to see her and we saw the change of the guards. We was a little bit late for it, but be <laughs> to be honest, what a waste of time. <laughs> it's so boring, it's such a touristy thing that you have to do. But when there's a lot of people about, we did it on our last day, so we actually had our luggage with us before we got on the train to go home because we was we stayed in zone two just outside of central London. Um which I wouldn't recommend to be honest. I would definitely stay central next time if you can find somewhere cheap enough, stay central. Yeah, we saw Buckingham Palace, yeah, we saw Change of the Guards, yeah, it's pretty cool, yeah, we saw them on the horses, blah blah blah. But oh, it's a long process as well, standing out in the cold with so many touristy people. You'll see from my footage, you can't quite see but there's just people everywhere, all around, and it's a bit of a nightmare to be quite honest. And then it was time to go home, and we went from King's Cross, I believe it was, and we saw the purple lights, which we didn't actually see when you first come off into London, because you don't go through the departure area, you just literally head straight out from the train. So that was nice. That was something else. That's in a lot of films, I believe. And that was basically it for 2016. It's been an emotional year. It's been a brilliant year, it's been a happy year, it's been a all around success. I have for the first time I had the same job for the full year. <laughs> and that's just, I didn't think that would happen anytime soon because last year I left college, I started an apprenticeship, I finished an apprenticeship, I started a traineeship, finished my traineeship and then started a job. <laughs> So a lot happened last year I didn't think I would stay in the same job all year round but I love where I work and and that's it. 2016 is over and I'm hoping for a brilliant 2017. So far it's been great. I'm obviously in a hotel now. It's my birthday in a couple of weeks. We're off to Leeds and then another couple of weekends we're off to Liverpool. So it's been brilliant and I hope you enjoyed this following year with me and I'll hope to see you in a few more videos. Right, bye.